How did I make this road go kart with 155 horsepower and 225 newton meter of torque? First of all, I bought myself a Panda 100 horsepower with a low mileage. Secondly, I installed the torque arm electric turbo. And please be aware that this is not the stuff you buy on AliExpress. And the result is massive fun. Now let's take a look in the engine bay. This is the turbo housing. Here is the air inlet, far away from the engine to keep the inlet air cool. This is the boosted air, 0.45 bars going into the engine. Made by this state-of-the-art electric motor. It has ceramic bearings. It has uh, 75,000 uh, RPM, and this results in a power of 5,000 watts. Um, 5,000 watts via these cables, which are thin because a 48 volt system is used. Um, the motor controller is uh, controlling the, the engine uh, and then uh, it's powered by means of a power box, which is in the inside of the car. This is the power box. It's a battery pack with a charger. And like you can see, I place them in the glove compartment. When fully charged, you will have four minutes of full boost and you have a total charging time of 40 minutes. I had initially some boost anxiety. In practice, I learned that during normal use, these batteries are always fully charged. This will only be a problem when driving full speed for a longer time on the German highway or for example, on the racing track. I just explained the power box and how during normal driving, the five kilowatt to boost the air is collected in the batteries. A traditional turbo, however, needs to generate this power during boosting. These energy losses are not present during boosting with a torque amp. The fully adjustable boost level is provided by this control box, which simply translates a boost PVM signal from this digital EQ tuner. This digital EQ tuner is not from torque amp itself, but I purchased it uh, based on their advice. The device is reading two signals. One is the engine RPM and the second uh, reading is the throttle valve uh, position. And based on those two samples, I configure the map of how much the boost should be. Another advantage, when you look to a traditional turbo, your boost is created by the exhaust gases. This is causing turbo lag and the boost threshold. The electric turbo does not have both issues. It can boost instantly by powering the electric motor, fully adjustable between 0 and 100%. I learned that my EQ was going into a safe setting since the air fuel ratio was outside the allowed range. Normally a tuner can solve this for you by remapping your EQ. But since this is a hobby project, I decided to keep my EQ original and solve, solved it by adding an additional monopoint uh, injector, which is also connected to the digital EQ tuner. I also added a broadband lambda sensor. And by doing this, I was able to optimize the fuel air ratio within the range of the EQ, but also make it more rich to get more power. Finally, I also connected the ignition uh, to the digital eco tuner and was able to advance the ignition timing with a few degrees. This is my control panel. The left hand side, the level of boost, so that can be in bar or in a PSI. And at the right hand side, uh, the air fuel ratio, which I measure uh, with a broadband lambda sensor. In the middle here is the turbo boost button like Knight Rider has. So if I turn it on, uh, I have to wait a few seconds and then I, uh, I'm driving with the, with the boost settings and if I turn it off, I have again my normal standard panda.
I hope I was able uh, to show you a little bit the pros and cons and uh, what the installation of a torque amp means. And I would like to take the opportunity to thank uh, Daniel and Jelke from Talk and uh, for their excellent support uh, during this project.